Okay, so right now I'm watching the third Lord of the Rings movie. I'm not exactly sure why. I've already seen it so many times. So when I saw that Return of the King was going to be on, the conversation in my mind went kind of like this. Hey look, the Return of the King. Let's watch it. Really? I mean, we've already seen this movie like so many times. Yeah, but I haven't seen it in a few months. And a few months is long enough to wait. It's Lord of the Rings. Yeah, good point. Is my mind really split up in half like that? Oh, it's back on. Why would I record that? Better yet, why would I put it in the video? It's because I'm a nerd. Okay, so in my last video, I asked people to send me questions about random stuff, and they did, which was awesome. I got a lot of questions. I will not be able to answer them all. All of the questions will be listed in function notation, as in f of x equals the equation, which is like y, x meaning the person who sent me the question, and y being the actual question itself. By the way, if I mispronounce your name, I am sorry. Tell me so in the comments how to pronounce your name if I mispronounce it, and I will say so in the annotations. Alright, so I'm going to start with the question I asked myself at the end of the last video. If I eat nerds, does that make me a cannibal? The answer, yes. But it is totally worth it. All those poor little nerds. MK Sean asks, what is required to become a nerd? You don't become a nerd. Either you are one or you're not. But how do you know if you're a nerd? One could define a nerd as someone who enjoys learning and the learning process over other conventional means of having fun. So if you think learning is better than having fun, then you're a nerd. Actually, it makes more sense if you think learning is fun. So if you think learning is fun, you're probably a nerd. And if you're a nerd, you should be proud of it. If you're ashamed of being a nerd, then I think you're getting nerd confused with something else that's not as awesome as being a nerd. Oh, my hair is so long. DJB1993 asks, Could you make a vid about how you got into card magic slash flourishing? Uh, I kind of forgot how that happened exactly. I think what happened is that I saw some card flourishing videos on YouTube and I decided that I wanted to learn how to do it because it looked really awesome and it still is. I Tricon has asked a lot of questions. When did you start XCM slash magic? Summer of 2007. So it's almost been two years now. How much do you practice a day and what do you do while you practice? I'm usually doing something else while I'm practicing, like watching TV or watching YouTube videos. So it's kind of hard to say how much I practice every day. On average, at least 10 minutes to maybe half an hour. On some days, even more than that. What got you into XCM? The act of seeing XCM got me into XCM. What are your two nationalities? I am half white and half Japanese. Yeah, I know white's not technically a nationality, but that's the best I can come up with. Have you ever been to Japan? And if not, would you like to go? I went to Japan once when I was three years old. And needless to say, I don't remember any of it. And yes, I would like to go again someday. Because I have a lot of family there I have not seen in a long time. Random431 asks, What are your favorite classic video games? Well, my first console was the N64, so all my favorite classics are going to be from the N64, like Super Mario 64, Donkey Kong 64, uh, Star Fox 64, and Ocarina of Time. Mario Link 64 asks, Would you ever have guests on your show? This is a show? Uh, it really strongly depends on the guest themselves. The reason he is asking me this is because he's one of my friends in real life and he wants to be on th this vlog. And yeah, I would have my friends on the vlog if an arrangement could be made. Magic 456 asks, Can you do a video where you're gonna say my name? Uh, I just did. Josie Wales asks, Instead of Mathematician 2, have you ever considered changing your name to Mathemagician 2 or Math Manipulator 3? Uh, yes. I have actually considered changing my name to Mathemagician, although it's kind of hard to change usernames when they're permanent. Mr. Card Player asks, where did you buy your green screen? What green screen? This is the real wall. Uh, my green screen came with my video editing software, Pinnacle Studio 12 Ultimate. What are your favorite cards? 
Well, I like a lot of cards, but Tally Ho cards are exceptionally awesome. If you're into card flourishing and all you own are bicycle decks, then I would suggest getting some Tally Ho cards. Blue or red, fan back or circle back, they're all great. Fire Pro Voltron asked me a lot of questions. Can I hash cheeseburger? Absolutely not. In this economy, it's not very economical to ask for free cheeseburgers using improper grammar. However, you can have this invisible sandwich, although I think there are Brussels sprouts in it. Who's your favorite video game character and why? After much thought, I have come to the conclusion that my favorite video game character is my me. Because it's awesome. What's your favorite game? Uh, currently, Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Is L the coolest anime character? Uh, I haven't seen enough animes to truthfully answer that question, but based on all the anime that I've seen so far, I would have to say yes. Do you know the Muffin Man? Uh, actually yes, and he wants his $20 back. Ninjas or pirates? <laughs> You're gonna make me choose? Ninjas. Will you answer this question? This is how a noob does the snap change. Will Falky asks, Are you going to teach any of your flourishes, and if so, when? By the way, several people have asked this, and I'm just going to say yes, I'm going to teach some of my original moves, but they're going to be on the Mathematician 2 channel, so if you're not subscribed to that channel, then I suggest you subscribe to it so that you can get those tutorials when I post them uh, during the summer, hopefully. Spectre Hater Ew, or however you pronounce your name, I think I'm pronouncing your name wrong, asks, Who were your influences? I'm assuming you're talking about my influences in card flourishing. Well, I learned a lot of my stuff from Extreme Beginners and the Trilogy, so obviously there's some influence there. Also, I learned a lot of the basics from Card Shark 88's YouTube tutorials. Can you show me your card collection? Well, I have a lot of cards. I got them all out here on this area over here, and there's a lot of them. Okay, so here are all the cards that I was able to find in my house, and yes, there are a lot of them. The top two bicycle decks are my GAF cards. These are the five decks that I used in the Maths New Decks video. Here are a couple of plastic bicycle decks. Here's a Frank Lloyd Ride card. I never used them. Here's a Sven Jelly deck. A invisible deck. Hold on, you can see it. My sister and brother-in-law gave me these three decks of cards uh, last Christmas. And here are a bunch of tally hoes, which I said were my favorite cards. These are the unopened ones, and these are the open ones. Here are some casino cards, including a Jamako, Aristocrat, and a B deck. I got all these cards together late last year. Ace, Cartamundi, some league backs. And here's my blue Twilight deck. I like this deck a lot. Here's my green deck, which I use for the green screen. Yay, it works! By the way, I have 48 decks of cards. And I should point out that while I have a lot of cards, there are some people who have more cards than I do. But that's fine. I have enough cards to last one person for quite a while. Thank you to those people who sent me questions. You all have earned an awesome point. What's an awesome point? Is it a point you get for being awesome? I'm going to stay with that. Okay, so I really like making this video, and I would like to make another one. So I'm still accepting questions for the next question video, whenever that's going to be. So if you have a question, just send it to me by personal message or in the comment section below. <laughs> Those orcs got owned.